What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet, be sure to subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell down below so you guys can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Now today's video, you guys saw that I am now part of the Frankie Rose family, guys. I am so, so freaking beyond excited because I have seen so many people use this cosmetic line and I've never used it before, but it looks so bomb. So I was like, you know what? I'm so glad that they reached out and now I am finally able to share with you guys that I have a code with them. So if you guys ever wanna shop with them, you can definitely use my code Alma Rivera. You'll get a nice little discount, but before we get into the video i do want to mention one thing this is not paid for by any way from frankie rose this is all my opinion this is my channel remember guys i upload what i want um they did not pay me to say any good things any bad things anything about them so yeah i just want to get that out of the way because i know how some people can have assumptions like oh they paid her for that no guys they did not pay me for this this is just truly i'm in here for the makeup okay now you guys can get a little glance of what my makeup looks like i i'm not gonna tell you just yet what i got in my box you guys gotta watch the video but if you guys want to see like the whole tutorial the whole review and see what i think about these items be sure to stay tuned Suavemente. You guys, I've removed all my nails already. I wanted to give my hands a break because I've been having acrylics for a cool last minute and then I started noticing like when my nails were falling off that my actual original nails were like ripping. I was like, that is so unhealthy. <laughs> like I need to recuperate my regular nails. Oh, I like how my peine, oh, like it came out so cute. I don't know if you guys did, but me in high school, I always flicked out my hair like this. Like, you know you were the shit in high school if you had capas in your hair. So you had layers and then you just like waved them all out. Like that was the go-to style. And it's so funny how fashion and like beauty does a whole ass turn and it's coming back. Okay, let's go ahead and get started because we have a whole lot to review. So I'm gonna start off with my brows because I like to do them before I apply any kind of makeup on my face. We're gonna start off with the brow defining pencil. This one does retail for $20. It is creamy and it is supposed to help fill in the gaps in your brows. On one side, it does have a spoolie. And then on the flip side, it does have the pencil which you roll up. And as you guys can see, it has a triangular shape. Okay, let's go ahead and try it out. A ver qué pasa. Oh, dang. Well, that was freaking easy. Look at that. <laughs> Almost got the full on brow on. Dang. Like, are you guys watching this like for real? <laughs> this is so good. Now, let me see what's good with the spoolie. Ooh, blend everything in. And let me go back and kind of like underline right here because it says it's supposed to fill in gaps, which it sure did. Dang, that was fast. This is a good ass brow pencil. Neta, neta, it's bomb. Oh, by the way, the pencil is in deep brown. Now I am gonna conceal my brows, but I'm gonna do that with foundation and I do want to get a feel of how this foundation works on my skin directly. So we will be doing that after the application. So let's jump right in with the Frankie Rose. This is the matte perfection foundation. And guys, I have heard amazing, amazing things about this foundation. A lot of my friends actually use it and they say it works so good. And right now that we're going into the fall, a matte foundation is ideal for me. A little bit of details about this foundation. It's supposed to be a perfect long wearing matte finish foundation that will leave your skin looking smooth and flawless. This formula is meant for long lasting and it's supposed to go on any kind of skin whether you're dry sensitive combination normal or oily it does retail for $36 and I did get the shade oatmeal blend I did end up using the color matcher on their website so um, I have no idea how this is gonna go on my skin and I'm hoping and praying that I got the right shade so let's go ahead and I first of all I like this little protector it has like it doesn't have a cap it has like a little let me show you it's like a little cap it's like a little cap like this that you kind of just like insert to the 
tip of the foundation and it won't squirt out I love that and it does contain one fluid ounce of foundation now let's go ahead and begin to pump some I'm gonna put some in the back of my hand I always use the back of my hand for everything I'm gonna begin with the application right here because I like to see how it compares against my skin tone on my neck because you guys can see like they're two different shades <gasps> you are kidding me girl oh my god hold up hold up I got my perfect shade it's literally my skin tone <gasps> let me start with this coverage is so full oh my god <gasps> let me back up you can't see anything through this foundation like it is not sheer whatsoever it doesn't have any distinctive smell which i'm actually for i don't mind if a foundation doesn't smell as long as it doesn't smell bad <laughs> oh my god it is just sinking into every crease it is blending out gorgeously girl where have you been at all my life i have never matched myself any better <laughs> than with this foundation it it's like the perfect match. I'm gonna use a little bit to conceal my brows. Now let's blend that in and oh my God, look how gorgeously carved my brows are like. That's all I needed. Up next, we're gonna go in with our little secret concealer. Now this one is in the shade Ginger. It does retail for $25 and a little bit of details on this. It is a creamy, luxurious concealer that hides imperfections for a softer, smoother complexion. Um, it also hides the appearance of dark circles, any signs of fatigue, and it's gonna stay in place for a full coverage all day or day. I'm gonna use this on the bottom of my eyes. Now I have been using less and less concealer every single application. I just realized that I don't need it as much as I previously used it. So I'm only gonna apply it in the areas that I most necessarily need it. Oh my God, that feels nice and thick. This is gonna be full coverage for sure. So I'm gonna put it right here. And like right here, because I like my, my eye to look like winged out, you know? Girl, this is a perfect shade too. They matched me. I didn't even request this shade. They matched it according to my foundation. And guess what? It works. Let's put some right there. And a tiny bit right there. Now let's blend things out. A ver, a ver qué pasa. Ooh, girl. <gasps> Did you guys see how that blends into the foundation? Oh. Ay, Dios mío. Oh, my God, girl. <laughs> oh, my God. Where are my eye bags? Where's my dark circles? Where's anything? Look at my eye. It looks like lifted. It looks so good. See what I'm talking about? That I don't need as much concealer. Like, that's all you need. And look, I look woke. And I really, really love the texture of this concealer. Like it grips down onto the foundation. Like it doesn't lay on top. It literally goes into the foundation, blends in beautifully. Wow. Now it's time to set my face and I'm gonna go in with the Pro Contour Palette. This is what she looks like. Oh my God, what a beauty. So tiene all these shades for your face, highlighting and contouring. And it also comes with a yellow shade, which I love because I use yellow to color correct if a foundation doesn't match me. So thank God they put this in there. Okay, so this a contour palette, it's supposed to be for long wearing, a matte finish, and it's supposed to complement you with all the highlighting and contouring tones. It is powder, so let's go ahead and use that to set you know, my whole foundation and concealer in, and it does retail for $42. It also does come with this guide right here. It has like a little face chart, and it tells you the areas in which you should be highlighting and contouring and applying the color correcting shades. So I'm gonna go based off of this and see how it turns out on my face. So for the yellow tone, it stays to apply directly below the eyes, blending downward toward the cheekbones to hide dark under eye circles. So let's go ahead and start off with that. Mm. Oh. No! Oh, my 
my contour shade. I messed it up. Oh my god, que mensa. At least it didn't break like all the way. But oh, dude, you guys, I do this all the time. I'm like butter hands. I'm gonna take the yellow shade like this and start applying it directly underneath the eyes. Just right here. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's not as yellow as I thought. Okay. Oh. Not bad. So like this. Oh. Okay. Why did I think that this was going to be like banana yellow? I don't know why, but I really like how it brightened up immediately my under eyes. Look at that. Now to highlight, it says to use the powder or blush brush and apply the doll face to the cheekbones, bridge of the nose, the center of the forehead, and the center of the chin. Okay, so we are gonna go in. I'm actually gonna do a mix of these two right here. I feel like this one's too light for me and then this one is like right on my skin tone. So by blending those two, I will convert into a different shade. I'm gonna apply it right here. Little by little, I am like looking more snatched and more snatched <laughs> every time. Dude, this is bomb. And I just love that you can do so much with just one palette. Like everything is right here. You don't need a bunch of different like individual contour highlighting. Oh my God. Dude, I am obsessed. Like I can't stop looking at myself in the mirror. My skin looks so good. Now to contour, I'm gonna use the same brush that I just used to highlight. And it says the contour shade is one or two shades darker than your skin tone. Whisper, heated, or tempting. Apply the shades along the hairline, down the sides of your nose, the hollow part of your cheekbones, blending outwards towards the ears. So, let's go. I'm gonna go in with the broken shade. I feel so bad for destroying this already. I'm gonna start off right here and then start blending. Girl, that contour. It's just like, it went on and it just blended automatically. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful ass contour. I have it right here because that, that's where I like to contour the most. Get rid of that double chin, girl. Now my hairline, I kind of covered it. <laughs> so let's do the other side. Oh my God, and that's how I went gently, girl. This thing is pigmented. Imagine if I would have like went super deep into the shade. Like literally I can use the same powder that I applied to my cheek to bring it up just right here. Look, look at that. I could probably use the same to bring it down as well. Look at that. Now I'm gonna take a powder brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade that's almost like my face. I'm gonna use this to basically like blend everything a little better. Just like this. Just so it won't be like too harsh of a contour. Now for my nose contour, I do like to take a small blending brush just like this one. And I'm gonna use this along the sides of my nose just like this to snatch that nose up, girl. One thing that I'm noticing about this palette is just how soft the um, powders are. They're so easy to blend in, you guys see that? Like, no effort whatsoever. And usually, like with powders, I'm a little more ske skeptical because they have a hard time appearing on your face and blending in. So usually they're extremely pigmented and hard to blend out or easy to blend but not as pigmented and i feel like this one is like the perfect blend of both of those okay i just literally sculpted a nose on me <laughs> literally is this for like highlighting i can it has this shade right here and i was like thinking if i can use it for highlighting and i sure can it's working. Okay, so now I'm gonna finish my eyes off camera real quick. I will be right back because we are gonna get into the last and final item, which is a lippy. Now for the last thing on my list right here, we have this ultra matte liquid lipstick 
This one does retail for $20. I did receive the shade Macaroon. So this is what she looks like. It's a little bit on the nude side. Yeah, it's like a brown nude. I'm gonna swatch it out because I wanna see how this is gonna go on my complexion. And this is what this one looks like. It's a beautiful, little bit deeper than my skin tone brown, which is gonna be like a perfect nude. Oh, the formula is actually very thin. That is a beautiful nude. This shit is gorgeous. And how it like feels on my lips. Bomb. This is the final look. This is what everything together looks like. And I, I cannot believe how contoured and beautiful my face looks. Like it went from round to like hella chupada. Now, honestly, I would give a rundown of each and every one of these items, but to be honest, like I feel good about everything that I use today from the brow pencil. Like it was super easy to apply. The foundation, girl, that thing, oh, full coverage, matte, gorgeous. Like it looks gorgeous on my skin. The concealer complemented the foundation. The contour palette was probably one of my favorites. I don't know, it's a tough one between these two, actually these three i don't know you see like i'm confused i love everything even this lip shade like i just love how beautiful it looks and especially like when you want to have a harsh contour it's always perfect to have a lippy like this that's gonna be like nice and neutral i just love everything that i received in this box now i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and i will see you guys on the next one bye